Okay then, so the Beginner's Guide series continues and it's time for us to take on the new Strange. Uh, this episode should take place after we got the Nova Warframe. We have access to all of the nodes. I haven't completed them all, but we'll probably end up going through them as things like fissures and stuff end up on them. But we have access to everything we need to and it is the last thing we need to do before we can go through the Saturn Junction. So we need to be making some strides with that. Also directly after this we'll start the Limbo Theorem. I believe the first thing we have to do is go to a relay. I don't think there's a specific one apart from Maru's Bazaar, which I haven't really gone through yet with this account. We'll have to do a video on that. Anybody watching past this point, thank you very much, but I have questions for you. Things that are not directly related to forward progress, such as Maru's Bazaar, where we go through like a little assault course thing in the void to get some endo, like a statue thing, which could also be used for decoration, but I think most people just dissolve it into endo. Do you want like an individual video? Do you want it including in the series? Or do you want to have them in a separate playlist? In any case, you saw what we just did there, right? We went into the uh, into the left on the side there, and that should then take us to Cephalon Samaris, I think. Well, I guess it's just fast travel then. I want to show everybody the way, but I guess we're just going to go Cephalon Samaris like this. Like, I wanted to show people around the, the relay a little bit, but uh, you know what? You've been, been a bit too confusing. Something cool to note here, which I haven't really shown before. In this little corridor here, you can actually practice your next mastery rank level before doing it for real. This is kind of handy because if you don't know what's coming, you can just kind of give it a practice. So anyways, we've got to talk to Cephalon Samaris here. He's got his own mechanics. He's going to demonstrate them to us now. Yes. Ah, I see we are of like mind. The sanctuary will be your project too. Okay, so now we have access to a new type of scanner. And we can pretty much replace the, the old sanctuary. scanner with this one if we want to in our gear wheel. We don't want to do anti-sanctuary onslaught. We don't want to do that. Yeah, we don't need any of those. That should be good. So let's leave. We should have that now available to equip. Let's just double check this when we get back to the ship. As you can see here, we should now have the Synthesis Scanner. Now we're going to make sure that we've got the Synthesis Scanner and the Siphon Trap equipped. This should make it pretty much so that anybody can get these captures done nice and easily. Then we are going to go into the actual capture mission just because I find this to be a fair amount quicker. I'm going to go in here solo because otherwise some people can rush the capture and then extract and it kind of just gets in your way a little bit. So I'm going in solo for this. Shouldn't be difficult. You By the time you've got this quest unlocked, you really should be able to, to deal with Mars enemies pretty easily. So we're just going to kind of rush our way through here, get the capture target dealt with, and then we'll be hunting down the capture target. So let's go ahead and get that done. Okay, so once you kind of ready to start hunting down your prey, you want to equip the synthesis a scanner and when we go through here you should start seeing these little wisp things that we want to follow those so we'll come out here wants us to go that way now generally speaking if you just go towards extraction samaris will say oh it's close by and you'll get a marker anyways but just so you guys know how to actually find it with the wisp here look we're gonna go yep so we're still moving forward and it is still towards the extraction it's kind of must have taken the wrong turn or something yep still going the right way that's good so we to go that way let's go It'll be a perfect specimen. That's a sea look. So, <laughs> it's actually near the exit, which is kind of crazy. But here we go. So we're going to get in here. We're going to get the siphon trap out. And then we can grab our scanner. We've got five. Oops. No, that's not what I meant to do. Scanner. Five points for us to scan. Jump to Rhino Stomp as well if it starts trying to get away. Oh, it is immune to Rhino Stomp apparently. That is really weird. One scan. You want to scan for me? Come on. There we are. All nice and done. That's going to be gone. So just get, just got to rinse and repeat that three times. I have it. Thank you. Continue. Let's get the last one done. Okay, with all the scans done, then we can return to Samaris. This is also where you should be able to get more scanners. You will make an excellent hunter. I will decipher as we agreed. Build it. So we both may become enlightened by it. Okay. Where's the store? There's definitely a store in here. Ha! So this is where we get it from. So we should be able to get scanners and we can get the 
traps. Obviously, these are a bit more expensive than the other ones. And the rest are from Samaras' standard. The cool thing is we don't have to rank this up. So the 10k we've already got, we can actually spend on stuff if we want to, depending on what you want. You can also get, <laughs> you can really get the Odinata if you want it. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Uh, but there's some weapons in here. We've already got the Imperator. So a lot of this we already have. We already have the e Ether Daggers. We've got that for free. Just thinking if there's anything worth looking at. No, right now there's not really anything in here that we want to get. But basically what this should be showing to you is later on when there are Warframe blueprints that we want to reacquire. We'll be able to come here and do that. Either way, for now, we're going to be leaving and getting on with the next part of the mission. So, to continue, you'll need to come to your foundry where we can construct the Scorched Beacon. Everything here is pretty common. Nav coordinates drop all over the place. Pollen bundles you should have, ferrite, salvage, and 5k credits. Nothing expensive. We just need to wait for that to build. I didn't even look at how long that is. One minute, so let's skip forward a minute. Okay, then, with our Scorched Beacon built, we should now be able to make our way into the mission. kind of signal. Operator? I will begin shielding your Cephalon somatic routines. Meanwhile, you must hunt for me. I have traced the source of this message. Thank, thank you, Samaris. Whoever we're dealing with slaughtered the Grineer searching for the Codices. It must be going after the Corpus next. Get there and intercept. Oh, let's go sort this out. Obviously, this, uh, these last couple of missions are going to take place on Europa, so just bear that in mind. I don't know how we are protecting these guys with the mobile defense, but hey, hey, let's go. Oh, we're uploading a data mass, that's fine. Okay, well, let's go. Two data terminals should not be too much of an issue, to be honest. What level have we got on enemies here? 19. Yeah, it's going to be nice and simple. So, very straightforward mobile defense, it seems. Let's continue with that. Oops, yeah, it was mostly... Straight up mobile defense. Uh, you may see like a glimpse of the Warframe blueprint we're going to be getting at the end though. And now it's time for us to extract. Okay, so much like before, obviously there's going to be some story stuff, but um, ultimately we're going to build the Chroma signal. Again, it's time for us to go back to the original derelict. There's going to be a boss battle here, so I'm going to change back to having the heck on actually. Okay, so obviously we return to the machine. Got a lot of stuff here. There's Chroma. Do not engage. I need this information. Synthesizer. We have everything we came for. Okay, that was easier than remember. I thought we had to fight him. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and extract for the next part of the mission. And so again, we craft the next mark. So we're going to be crafting the chroma mark here. Luckily, this is mostly easy resources, so it shouldn't really be too difficult for us to keep up with. With that done, we can move on to the next part of the quest. So this should be the final mission, Os on Europa, which is obviously why we needed Europa to be open to begin the quest. Obviously, it's very similar to before. Let's get this defended. I guess this is uh, this is just going to be corrupted. Hope it's going to be straight up corpus. Okay. Should be too much of a problem. I'm going to keep my skin up. We're just going to defend this. Maybe uh, Vault could have been better here, but... Should be all good. Five waves to defend against. I don't think you guys need to watch me just killing corpus, so... We'll skip to Chroma's arrival. Okay, on the final round then, we can now... Go ahead and scan Chroma again. And keep doing it. Luckily we've got rhino skin, so we can do this all day. Go now, Tenno. You have done well. And that completes. Which rewards us with the main chroma blueprint. Most of its parts will drop from junctions, so we can't see right now, but just because of the way and the game structures itself. But this is kind of coming from like a little bit later on. And you'll see when we highlight Saturn here. We get one of the chroma parts right there, and this is going to be common as we continue moving along the system. The only one I think that we can't get on the junction, I think it's Vault's Neuroptics, which is kind of like a weird one. 
just for chroma. Yeah, so we need Volt and the which I guess replaces the Oricon cells you'd usually use, but all the chroma parts will come from the rest of the system as we move forward, and that will allow us to be building chroma. Necros says hi.